showing that. We will have a couple of men's doubles. So plenty more action to come from Estora Stadium here in Jakarta. So Pradnia Gadre and Siki Vredi of India up against Isabel Hertrick and Birgit Michels of Germany. This match from the top half of the draw, in fact, the top quarter of the draw. And this is for the right to play against Matsuo and Nato of Japan. Number 14 seeds, Matsuo and Nato, left and right handed combination. And we're about to see a left and right handed combination with the Indian pairing of Siki Reddy and Pradnia Gardare. And of course, Naswari and Polly, number seven seeds, they're fresh from victory in Taipei. Home favourites for picking up a medal in the women's doubles. So first two days of action are all about first and second round encounters. Draws of 64. Of course, in the Super Series, we only have draws of 32. Oh, here come the players for this first round of women's doubles. as far as India are concerned four medals at world championships one in the men's event Jesper's looking a little yes, blank at me at the moment no, would that be Kopichan? no 1983 Prakash Patakorn, yeah. yeah and then of course for the last two years PV Sindhu has taken the bronze medal in the women's singles and in yeah. London <laughs> in 2011, <laughs> Juala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa first ever females okay. from India to win a world championship medal. So in fact, only four players winning world championship medals from India, and there's one of them winning two. Hasn't Indian badminton developed? Isn't it it's just wonderful to see how they have in recent years just gone from strength to strength? Of course, they've always had a few outstanding players, but they really have strength in depth now. And with the news that they've hired Malaysian Tan Kim He as the new national doubles coach, as a concerted effort, I believe, to increase the win women's, men's and mixed doubles capabilities as well. Well, there is the 24-year-old Gardere, 36 in the world ranking at the moment. It's a career high. It's their third week at a career high. Their win-loss record for the year. What a year they've had so far. Three finals from seven tournaments, winning two of them, winning the Polish International and the Lagos International as well. So there's the left-handed hand up. Siki already 21 years of age, so she's going to turn 22 next week. And one of the very few players in World Badminton in the doubles that serves forehand as a left-hander there. Now she's had problems with that right knee. It was back in November of 2009. Torn ligaments in the knee, had to undergo surgery. I know all about that. I hope 
You stayed injury free from knees, didn't you, Jesper? When I was playing, I did stay injury free, but I've had a few afterwards. Yeah, it does take its toll, Babington on the old knees. So to uh, the German combination. And uh, there, Isabel. Her 23 years of age, former medalist in the World Junior Championships in Guadalajara in 2010 in the mixed doubles discipline, a bronze medal with Max Schwenger. And she is a very good and very talented doubles player. 31 in the world ranking at the moment. So that's one down great. from their career high of 30, but they only formed their partnership during the Uber Cup finals in Delhi last year. So haven't been playing together terribly long. The great Mikels, well, she's enjoy a birthday soon. She And Karapat of Thailand, our umpire for this one. And her service, Sathawan Mauritius. Of the court, and here's two matches. This will be the first ever meeting Ready? between these two players. On pairs. my right, Freja Kret and Siki N. Reddy, India. And on my left, Isabel Hertrich and Rikis Michel, Germany. Freja Kret to serve to Rikis Michel. Lobo, play. So the left and right handed combination from India. Getting this first round women's doubles underway. Service over. One. Uh, Birgit has tried playing in here several times. She's used to changing tactics and so also from the mixed double where she's done very well. I think uh, they will probably be favourites in this match. Is going wide yeah i th i think that in all honesty because no. both of the germans have been playing the super series circuit because you mentioned the mixed doubles and then certainly with michael's with uh, michael fuchs uh, they've been top 10 pair they've been in three i think it's three super series tournament finals in the mixed doubles so of course they're playing the elite tier of tournament and as a well, new women's well. doubles combination of course they don't get seeded at the super series events they've had to come two five it's gone wrong it is remarkable, so Jesper, isn't it, about Indian badminton so and how it's become so popular as a sport. It's not just uh, they've got a number of players being successful in, in world terms. Of course, it's a country that is just in love with cricket. <laughs> but I was reading something that uh, there was a statistic that badminton so is now the second most popular safe. sport in India, and that's fabulous for us. It definitely is. Um, I think uh, Saina has done a lot to, to the sport in India and, uh, and especially her medal uh, at the Olympics uh, really uh, made a difference. Uh, I've also read somewhere that she's the most famous sports, sporting woman in, in the whole of India and, uh, and I think for badminton in general it's very good. Uh, it's a huge country and, and uh, the economy is on the race and, and, and it's, that's very good for all of us. Absolutely. Oh, that's an unbelievable shot. Service over. Seven, four. Very, very talented individual. Isabel Kirkwick. Look at this angle. You've no right to be able to find an angle like that. That is superb. Serve is short, so. Five, seven. The heat in here, and, and because it is that warm, then the shuttle is fast, no matter which end you're in. So if you if you flick like that, then you'll still uh, make mistakes, and you'll still place it long. Yeah, that's 
what they should do is they should try to move the Germans around, especially on the backcourt, and then counter-attack them afterwards. Um, usually the Germans, they will end up uh, having Birgit in front and... and, uh, and uh, Isabel in the, in the other end uh, or in the back and, and uh, that's the way they want to be standing but if they can move Birgit to the back and they move her around then they will have uh, good opportunities. Oh, good serve. Ten, six. Oh, ten, six in double quick time. For it. No. Match on our hands. So the question is. Great, and already capitalise on this two-point advantage. And take this women's doubles match into a third and deciding game. Yeah, they definitely got the confidence now. Um, it seems like the Germans are best when uh, in the first three or four shots of each rally. But if if you come past that point, then uh, it's looking good for them. then surely to challenge that so it's I thought that was so far in yeah it was called in I was right it was called in so now the Germans have got to challenge but surely I didn't think that was even close was it I didn't see it yeah um, there we go yeah. thank you Hawkeye there we are. Very focal, so still working for me at the moment. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. No. Thanks. Arch has the Indian pair. Yeah, yeah. Goodness me, how confusing. I think the umpire got it all wrong this time. Because I thought the line judge called it in. He did. Yeah. Oh, well, as long as the right decision is made in the end, and it has been. But that is the very good thing about the challenge system. Yeah. It, it's wonderful. I, I'm a big campaigner that we should have two challenges per game instead of two challenges per match. And I'd even go so, so far as to say gets to 20 or one extra challenge just as in a tiebreaker in tennis you get one extra challenge i think it's such a good system we should have it more i'm definitely right when you think back of all the arguments you had with umpires and uh, line judges and you're trying to provoke and and uh, and uh, make them call whatever you think is in or out uh, this has just stopped it all say you think of all the arguments you had I hope you weren't referring to me personally no uh, that was in general I think and I I probably had a few myself yeah Service over 14, 13. no but you're absolutely right you, you look at tennis now uh, it, it, the McEnroe days we had the temper tantrums none of that anymore there's just a polite challenge it's the same in badminton mm. it's uh, it's a wonderful system. Fifteen, thirteen. 
Hopefully we'll come to a point where we can have it on all courts instead of only sure. the TV court. Yeah. Fifteen, thirteen. Cushion. No, oh, didn't miss by much, but the miss is a miss. Oh, both the Germans. Retying shoelaces. Grabbing out for a little or small break just to clear the heads. Short. Indian pair ready now in the first three or four shots, uh, which they weren't in the beginning. Uh, so they found out now if they can get out of these three or four shots and be ready there, then they have a good chance. Yeah, they're playing well. Three points away. Enforcing a... Oh, oh just long. Yeah, the disappointment, I think, once again, the line judge was correct. The Germans keep on pushing the shots, and I think what they should do is that they should make some stop shots instead, so they get some good and slow lifts, and, and it would be much easier for them to attack. Right now, they play it into the court, and then they... And, and a pity she knows it 15, her reaction 19. shows the disappointment of that service error and has that gifted an opportunity to the germans yeah. well the mistake and 15. five different opportunities for god right and ready to see yeah. this yeah. decider Oh, it's called in. They're, they're off for a, for a break. Well, they're challenging. Well, that looked long, didn't it? It did look long. And this time the umpire got it right, too. Yeah. So the challenge, once again, comes from the Indian pair. But surely that was long. I'm with you, Jesper. I didn't even think that one was close. But we are the far side. Oh, it was out. Good. Yep. Line judge getting it right once again. So it is one game all in this first round women's doubles contest. Second game won by Praja, Chris and Siki in ready. 21-15. One game all. 21-15 confirms our umpire. And after 32 minutes, it's one game. back on court ready for the start of the third and deciding game the opening game of course to the germans there they are 
her threat and uh, Mikel's 21 seconds that opening game, but the left and right-handed combination of Siki Uredi and uh, Pradnia Gadre coming back strongly in the second, taking it 21-15. Love all play. Love all play, final game. Here's an interesting theory for you, Jesper. Two pairs playing two different circuits. The Germans uh, basically are playing uh, the Super Series because they're both such good mixed doubles players and very highly ranked. In Whereas the oh. Indian pair have been playing the international challenges, as I was saying earlier, three finals from seven tournaments. The Indian pair, in my opinion, have got used to winning. Whereas so the Germans two, have got one. used to having tough matches but not coming through. And you will know far better than me, because you're such a good coach, having been a wonderful player, that there is a certain amount to be said for learning how to win and getting used to winning and having that winning feeling when you come to tough matches like this. Yeah, I think you're, you're definitely right that if you keep on losing, that will hurt your confidence. Uh, what we're doing in, in Denmark with the players there, uh, when we have youngsters, then we send them out to some of the Super Series times they can uh, play up, as we are calling it, against better opponents. Yeah. So all round development, get them used to both. Yeah, I think uh, in the beginning that's what we do. Uh, when, when they when they reach a certain level uh, mm. and they start winning, maybe reaching quarterfinals and so, then super serious. But they will keep on playing some of the smaller terms. Yeah. It's that development, to say. Yeah, has been a great tournament. Great job. On paper, you say to yourself, uh, the Germans are standing a chance. Look at them. Yeah, they're definitely doing well. Uh, I, I also... I don't understand the tactics from the Germans. I think they're going for winners all the time. They have no patience in the game, uh, and, and they keep on making mistakes. Uh, so I think that's also helping the Indian couple, but, but they are doing well. Uh. Yeah. And I suppose the world champs with these, these draws of 64, it's one of the rare opportunities where the regulars from the uh, tournaments that are, are down a couple of tiers get the chance to play the players who are regular on the Super Series. And, and that's one of the wonderful things about the world champs, that, you know, so many players can come together in one venue, oh, one event, five. and get the opportunity to play these star players. Yeah, that's right. But so... Uh I would say one of the bad things about the world ranking is that uh, uh, from and upwards, they need to play the Super Series tournaments because this is even losing first round gives sometimes more than uh, than the some of the small and, and and if you say that you can maybe only play 12, 13 tournaments a year if you're a player like Birgit who is 31 years old, yeah, uh, then. You'll not choose to go to the smaller oh. tournaments and get some winning experience, then you'll just keep on playing the Super Series. Yeah, that's a very, very good point. Well, this is turning into an intriguing women's doubles contest, that's for sure. Not a good serve just into the forehand of the back person. This makes it a quite easy kill. Yeah. Barely half court as well. 
But the thing is, it's hard for her going cross court because then she is into the draft and then she might hit it out. So that's why she goes for oh, yeah. the corner. deciding game so far. Oh, that's well taken. Oh, goodness me. The Indian pairing right now uh, doesn't really know what to do about the service return. Uh, so they tried a few, a few solutions uh, and none of them worked. So they end up in this mixed doubles games all the time. Just wide. Nine, seven. Service over. That was better, Cove. Nine. Nine. Return of surf. Yeah, definitely. She got a little high on it and she moved Birgit in the back, which is the right thing to do. It's gone wrong. A call from Gargaray to her, her partner to leave it. Once again, back level. Hit that just being 80% sure that that's one get over. So, uh, what a blocking the shuttle and then getting a new lift. at the change of end he did nine the advantage they have this problem that after, especially when they are uh, when they're returning serves one, then they get into some kind of fight Hot from one, below level and then they push it upwards the same with the germans here they in the defense they keep there uh, in that way they keep on getting in trouble too so Ready? they need to block the defense and then move forward afterwards to get the attack Thank you. Eleven, nine, so the two point advantage at the change of ends here in this deciding game. On a run of four straight points. Oof. I think there's a challenge here. I thought that landed in. Red yes, Charin, for in. It kind of jumped back into the court, so it's difficult telling if it was in or out. Well, the Indian pair have challenged twice before, and they've been right twice before. So, hang on, wait a minute. What is, what's going on? Has there been a challenge? Certainly the scoreboard at the end of the court is supposed to indicate that a challenge has been made and it's not indicating that. I... But they are waiting for it. They're, they're waiting for the challenge. We're waiting for Hawkeye. And it looks to me, we're sitting just along from Hawkeye, it looks to me as if Hawkeye don't realise. Woken up. Yep, Hawkeye are now looking at the call. Maybe they thought what it was so far in. Or out. Or out that they. The line judge called it out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I thought it was in. 
the Indian pair have challenged. Oh, and, and we're here, we here we go. And it's out. Never. One I'm not sure whether Ten, 11, that was such play. a delay. I don't know that they were actually looking at the right. Anyway, there we go. Yeah. She's missed it. That's no question of that. That was wide and open court. No, she did everything right there. And that was the block that I was asking for defense. Instead of hitting it back towards the attacking path and just blocking it, and then you can move forward afterwards. Well, this is obviously fairly critical each and every point. Oh, my goodness. a good backhand kill from easy to play technically a little lead at this stage of the match five point advantage now 15, well, well, well. well I told you the Indian players had all improved especially the doubles players Question of that one clearly long. Last chance saloon one suspects. The Germans have got to get themselves a little run of points right now. And the Indian couple needs to uh, stick to what just worked for them instead of keeping keeping on hitting it and blocking it and moving Germans around. That's it. Oh. 14, 16. It's easy to say afterwards, 14. but I was almost just questioning whether Birgit serve with the uh, holds for the rest of the set. Oh, that's good pressure, a good movement forward from Gardre. Look at that backhand, I like that. Flat over the net and then steps forward. Two shots later, they've won the rally. and pressure 19, from the front of the 14. court and they're just two points away from a place in the second round yeah I think uh, I have to say that I think the Germans they're going to be dis disappointed in the way they uh, they managed this I've seen several times and, and uh, they really haven't reached the large to the good play Match point opportunities. The one. 
and Siki Reddy and Pradnia Gadre of India have beaten the German combination of Mikels and Hertrick. Three games coming from a game down. So they are through to the second round where they will meet the number 14 seeds. Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. And then in 50 minutes coming from a game down. 16-21, 21-14, 21-15, 21-14 in the deciding game so congratulations to the indian combination very good result for them so as the women's doubles players take leave of the courts jesper larson and myself jill clark will also uh, take a leave because richard kaufman and steen peterson will be guiding you through the next three matches as we leave you So thanks to uh, Jill and Jesper. And as Jill said, Richard Kaufman back in the hot seat alongside Steen Pedersen. And these are the matches uh, coming up next. Pontip against Kirsty Gilmore. Men's doubles with uh, France taking on the Philippines. And uh, Indonesian interest in uh, Linda Wenifenetra against the Dutch player, Soraya Devish Eibergen. So lots more to look forward to on court. Uh, Estora. Sunny on here in Jakarta. Looking forward next to this match then. Interesting matchup as well it is. 